较重要的问题是通过这个建筑、城市跟社会到底发生一个什么关系这一点来进行。由深圳和香港共同举办的二零零七深圳香港城市建筑双城双年展，昨天开始在深圳举行。我们的目标是针对普罗大众，工人他们来到这个展览之后呢，再接触到我们在出版物里面的一些事情。It is a fantastic building. It has beautiful space, beautiful light, beautiful qualities. We chose reliving the city because we already have enough space. We just have to use it in a smarter way. Look at all this space. Look at how we can use it. The Chinese metal factory actually has a unique feature. It's very clear. The shape of the design means that the building is not easy to make. It's not easy to make. It's not easy to make. It's not easy to make. 这一次其实更关注人，就人如何在这里感到是一种家园的感觉，然后如何去生活。我应该说，城市原点其实就是对人的一种回归。翻译成城市原点呢，解决了英文 “reliving city” 的一个目的是为了什么？我会说的，深圳比亚纳勒。Is part of this history that the city created, which is now almost existing half of the city's lifetime. Shenzhen is also the result of neighborhood, hence the Bai City Biennale. Hong Kong and Shenzhen are connected but different. Before you come to Shenzhen, if you're from the West, you think of it as being just endless factories because that is the image. And if we can do anything with this Biennale, it would be, I would hope, that we open people's eyes so that they see the city that they otherwise wouldn't have noticed. But first, we have to look around and see what's already here. We need to build for change. So this concrete structure is actually interesting. It represents our topic of reliving the city. Because one thing is clear. Top down alone doesn't work anymore. You need top down and bottom up to meet. You need to put the decisions for buildings in an environment where changes are possible, just like this space here. 城市的所有的一切，不只是说要创造一些更高的一个 GDP。其实我们在这个阶段，应该把质量重新提出来，跟数量做一个平衡。我认为未来的生活，未来的城市，都是一个最好的平衡的结果。Architecture is always about opening your eyes. In our Kolar City 3D, which is the exhibit that will happen on the ground floor, we ask people to come in with some idea of what they want to do, and then go around Shenzhen and find things, bring them together, and to build something out of that that is a reflection upon Shenzhen. Because we find Shenzhen incredibly fascinating, and we want to share that fascination. We are building up the bamboo shelter here in Shenzhen Biennale. Different urbanization formats, some of them are temporary, some of them engage different materials, some of them engage the people. They all show alternatives of urbanization. And this is what we want to present in radical urbanisms. It's sort of a panorama that when you're in it, you're just sort of immersed. Through our PRD research, 能够解决快速的城市化会带来的一些后果，像生态的问题怎么解决，然后要解决社区的问题，重新发掘现有社区的一些亮点，然后能够把这个亮点能够固化下来。
The whole point of this Biennale is to say to everyone, look around, see what you already have, then ask the question, what can we do with this? Not what's there, not what's there, but what's all around us. So it is a Biennale that seeks to question, to look, not to offer any concept or idea.